I am really, really grateful for the app here. I mean, it, it has been difficult in a lot of ways because we are living below the poverty line. Um, we get a free place to stay, but $275 a month. Um, and this, yeah, for groceries, for, and I drive around a lot, gas, that's been really challenging for me. Um, and then we live in intentional community and that's been really challenging for me too. And a lot of times it has pushed me, but I mean, I've learned how to live with and be in community with people that I never would have thought, never would have picked. Mm -hmm. And um, I love them now, right. you know, and I never thought that that would happen either. Yeah, I uh, was familiar with the YAV yeah program before I went to Youth Triennium, but I did get the chance to meet more people there um, who had participated in the program, who worked for the program, um, and that was actually where I started really getting interested in doing that. I've always wanted to do it. It wasn't until, and then I kind of forgot, and then in college, and then at the end, I was like, what am I gonna do now that I graduated? And then I just remembered, I had this moment where I was like, oh my gosh, I can still do this. Um, but Triennium was a really great experience for me, just you know, seeing this greater community. I've gone to Montreal conferences before. Um, growing up, I was really involved in my presbytery, in um, the youth advisory team um, for planning like youth mission events and stuff. And then, but seeing that big, big community that exists was really awesome. Honestly, just like all of the people that I've gotten to know, mm -hmm. and I feel like I've been accepted into this family. And in a way, um, I feel more comfortable walking like around in Asheville than I do anywhere else. And um, I just, I've learned so much about other people's experiences and like mm -hmm. what it means to really bear witness. And cause I'm, I did this year obviously, cause I was thinking I wanna give back. I wanna contribute, I wanna do all these things. And sometimes, you know, just sitting and um, letting someone talk to you or just hugging someone and holding them is more than anything. And we all need that from time to time. You know, I came into this year being like, I wanna serve, I wanna do better, but found in turn that I needed this space just as much. Like I needed to be heard and listened to. And I think that just like that kind of evening out that we give to each other. Um, and that's been huge for me. Um, I really, I really love it here.